and whoever scores first here is really going to have a huge advantage because I think goals are going to be pretty hard to come by today. Yeah, Brady uh, Brody Netsky with a GAA of 1.29, save percentage 93.6. That's a chance for St. Ignatius. Couldn't get the shot on that. That shot's in the net. St. Ignatius, first goal of the game, scored by 52, and the Wolfpack strike first. Big screen in front. I don't even know if Bennett saw that puck go in the net. Yeah, you got you to do a better job of getting those people away from your netminder. And a 52 with the goal. And the Wolfpack strike first. That's part of that physical presence, too. St. Ignatius bringing it early. They're just bullying uh, Bennett, especially in front of that net. St. Ignatius looking for a garbage goal. They're, they're peppering the netminder with passes out in front. Shots. Another goal for the Wolfpack. There's that guy again, Nardella, with two goals now. Once again, I don't even know if Bennett saw that goal go in. Yeah, I mean, Cone, he struggled today. There's no doubt about it. He's got to tell his defenders, look, you got to push him out. You got to push him out. I need a clean angle. It's a goal. It's a good shot by Nardella, as you can see on screen with Pat and their uh, goalie on the back. But we do not play those rules. We play normal NHL rules, so you can ice it. Down a man, there's a goal for the Red Wings! Takazala scores, and they're back in the game. Exactly what they needed. Keep crashing the net, keep out chancing them, keep out shooting them, puck's gonna find the net. Lucky bounce, gets a good open net in front, doesn't miss it. Cuts the lead in half. Just a humongous goal. Scored for the Bennett Academy Red Wings, Takazala. This will just be a little prediction for me. I think if Bennett scores the next goal to tie it up at two, they'll make it 3-2 eventually. They're, they're definitely outplaying the Wolfpack as that's a steal, two on one, coming up, wide open man in front, saucer pass, loose puck in the slot. So are they calling that a goal before the net came off? This is gonna be interesting, I'm gonna watch this on replay I in don't, a second. If, I don't know, if they're calling that a goal, I need to see a clear cut replay of that. So here we go, so right now it's in the zone. Ill-advised pinch, great play though. And then setting it up in front. Oh, yeah, that, that net that is, is that is that not, net is way off the pit, way off. So they're gonna talk about it. I think we are gonna go back to a two-one game. At least right now we've got three-one. You watch it one more time. Oh, he 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 ran into the net before his teammate even got the puck on his stick. And what I want you guys to do that are watching it on YouTube, you can play it back in .25 speed. Okay, so if you play it back in 0.25 speed. You can clearly see the net went off. It, it, you can see how ticked off Bennett is right now, and for good reason. This is So right now we've got a penalty shot, so it looks like they're gonna put it back to two to one, which is interesting. I still I think this is the wrong call too, yeah. because Bennett did not knock into the net, St. Ignatius yeah, did, but here we go. Ignatius. Penalty shot, couple of moves, shot, and he scores! Goal awarded for Jackson Steinloff. It's a somewhat of a break for Bennett, but not really, partner, because Ignatius yeah. ran into the net, not Bennett. Yeah, I mean, the score is still the same as if they would have called it correctly. But or if they would have called it, you know. If Cecil had made the save, then Bennett's like, okay, no harm done, but now the harm was done because you got it wrong. If you're wondering who the Wolfpack will go to in crunch time, obviously we talked about Tiernan Ryan. 12 goals, 11 assists, and that's a wraparound goal and a 4-1 lead for the Wolfpack. You really need a save there. Got to get that pad against the post. No room for air that you need a save there. That might be the dagger. Tieran and Ryan, we just talked about him. That's now 13 goals for the young man, and that might be the dagger. Yeah, I mean, unless, unless Bennett can pull a 2013 Bruins come back from down 4-1. Big rivalry, man. You like, you like hard-hitting hockey games? Watch a Flyers-Penguins game. Yeah. That's another goal for the Wolfpack. That time, Colin Chinlin, one of their better hockey players. And it's all over but the crying. It's going to be a Wolfpack victory tonight. That is the final nails descent on the coffin. Well, you could honestly put Cohn back in the game. If I were head coach Andrew Schley, I would do that. See if he can get his confidence back up. Yeah. I would consider doing that. They still would have lost, even if that penalty shot hadn't happened. You haven't seen a lot offensively by Bennett anyways. 
but they were getting into the game as that's a shot. Puck still loose, and a goal awarded for the Bennett Academy Red Wings. Hudson Schley, and things getting slightly interesting now. They got the goal in the first three minutes. They needed that. Got to keep crashing the net, exactly what they had to do there. And that, that play right there is the equivalent of Donta Hightower forcing a fumble on Matt Ryan to keep to give New England the ball back in the, in the Super Bowl. The idea was right. They just got it wrong because a Bennett player did not. Good chance here if he can outskate him. Breakaway. Tried to fake the goalie out of his pads. Rebound trying. It just went wide. Man, that would have made things really interesting in a heartbeat. You'd really like to have that one back if you're Bennett. Really needed a goal there. That, that would have really, I think, made this period interesting. Sure would have as you just look at that goal one more time. It was just excellent second effort by Hudson Schley. When I looked at that uh, dead play that was called by the ref, when you look at it again, it looked like that puck was loose. It looked like it should have been a goal for the Wolfpack. Yeah. Well, makeup call, I guess, despite how late it might be and inconsequential it might right. be. Right. As a ref, you can't think like that, though. You have to ref the game I know. consistently. As that's a try and good shot, but saved uh, by Cecil. Nope, they actually are going to go with the third string goalie tonight. Christensen is going to get some reps between the pipes. She plays for her Florida team in AAA hockey. Do you know who sings closing time? Um, oh my god, I for, I for, I'm drawing a blank, man. I'm drawing a blank. I'm 0 for 2 on your... There's a nice shot and a goal for Holweck. So they score on the power play. Now what's going on? I, I couldn't tell you, I was thinking about closing time. All right, we're gonna watch it on replay right now. That, that, that was strange. I don't, I don't know what the refs were doing, but the goal was scored by Holway. Oh, the goalie hit him. The goalie pushed at his head after he scored. Yeah, so he should have been ejected. And let's see, see if they're gonna eject him, and they do. Good, good, good call, partner. 